So what I have on my wrist right now is the Series 3 Apple Watch and I'm reviewing it in 2021. It's kind of interesting because if we look back, the Series 3 was released back in 2017 and you can still buy a brand new in-store retail shelf. So I'm making this video to help inform anybody that's debating if they should go with the Series 3 and what are some key benefits as well as highlight its unique features but also some important things to consider. Why you may possibly be better off buying a pre-owned Series 4 for a little bit more or a Series SE because they're not too far apart in terms of value. So as the time making the video brand new, the smaller size Series 3 can be purchased for $199. But while I was doing research on Amazon, you could find it for much cheaper. Link to that will be in the description in case you're curious. So yes, the Series 3 comes available in two size choices to choose from, 38 millimeter and a 42 millimeter. It doesn't have the new curvier display, so text and such is gonna be very triangularly, but nonetheless, you'll still be able to see all your information right on your wrist. And the screen brightness is also 1000 nits, just like a modern day current generation Apple Watch. So there's no complaint about viewing the display in direct sunlight outdoors and such. Now, after rocking the Series 3 for a couple of days now, downgrading from the Series 6 to this, I only have a couple of complaints. But in terms of being a fitness tracker, in my opinion, this is still is a much better than what Fitbit has to offer or other third party brands in terms of a fitness tracker because the Apple Watch can do so much more besides being able to track your steps, your calories burn, distance you travel because it does have built in GPS. So if you're an outdoor runner, you'll get more enjoyment out of the Apple Watch and it's also water resistant up to 50 meters. So yes, you could swim and track your swim logs and such when it becomes summer again. And unlike those other fitness trackers, this one still has one of the best displays on, on any smartwatch because it is a Retina OLED display, which means images looks fantastic. It is a dual core processor. It is an older machine. It does have the S3 chipset inside and still operates watch OS 7 fine in a sense. It only has trouble when you launch third party applications. That's one thing I noticed from past speed test videos I've done. If you're curious to know how that went, it's right there in the corner. I did this because I forgot if it's on this side or that side. Now it's internal specs isn't anything too crazy. It does have eight gigabytes of internal storage, which will allow you to install your playlist, download third party apps, things to watch OS 7. You can literally download third party apps on this thing directly on the Apple Watch because the App Store is built into it now. And then if you receive a text message, you can use Siri to reply or send a new message as well as answer your phone calls. It does have built in Wi Fi, which is great because in case you forget your phone at your home, but you're at a Starbucks with open Wi Fi or something, all your notifications from your phone will still be able to be pushed to your wrist as long as your Apple Watch is on that Wi Fi network. But a LTE version, a cellular version, is available on the Series 3. So if you want cellular connection anywhere you go, and you don't plan on taking your phone around at all times, you can always go with that option because that is available. Other important things to also highlight, the Series 3 only comes available in two color choices to choose from, which is standard silver and space gray is what we have right here. This is a space gray 42. Now, unlike some of those other fitness trackers, the Apple Watch Series 3 actually supports Apple Pay by tapping the power button twice. You can select your card and pay any transaction with the terminal just off your wrist. Now, the Apple Watch is also loaded with a bunch of awesome tools, including this one, as it does have a built-in calculator and it does have an optical heart rate sensor in the back. This is the first generation, but still does an excellent job in terms of tracking your heart rate while you're exercising, as you can actually launch the workout app on the Apple Watch and select the workout you're doing and the Apple Watch will do its magic and give you a rough estimate how many calories you have burned as well as track the time. And in case of medical emergency, the heart rate sensor will always monitor your heart rate and if it detects an unusual pattern of your current heart, it will actually send you a push notification letting you know that ahead of time that hey, you may have some health complications, you might go, wanna go ahead and go ahead and get checked out. So the Apple Watch will constantly be able to, even this one, the older model, will still be able to monitor your heart rate and notify you in case it detects something unusual. A medical card is also available on the Series 3. 
which you could just activate by simply holding down the power button and slide right here. You'll see your medical card information as well as you have access to an SOS. Now it does not have fall detection that is available on the newer Apple watches, the series four and newer, including the SE, where if you get knocked out, if the watch detects a hard impact fall, it will get a hold of emergency dispatchers as well as your emergency contacts and send them to your exact location in case you are unresponsive. This feature isn't available on the series three, but you can still hold down the power button and toggle emergency SOS in case of a tragic emergency or you're being followed. And if the screen is too bright for you, let's say for example, the cinema is finally open again, hopefully it does in the near future. The Apple Watch has a bunch of awesome little modes that no other fitness tracker has really. There's a feeder mode when, which when this is enabled, you get nifty tricks like when you cover up the watch, it'll turn off but you could rotate the digital crown to take a quick peek without disturbing others around from the brightness of this display. You also have the flashlight tool where as soon as you activate this and point this away from you, the screen gets super bright. It does drain the battery, however, but you also have different modes as well, like the strobe light. So in case you're running outdoors, you're easy to spot and so on. You also got the sleep mode because the Series 3, thanks to watchOS 7, does have sleep tracking capabilities, which will monitor your heart rate and also give you your daily logs about all your information that you want to know when you're sleeping. So you always make sure you know how long you slept if you're sleeping the right healthy amount for you. And in addition to that, in this mode, the watch itself can also still wake you up by giving you haptic feedbacks on your wrist so your alarm doesn't go off and wake up your significant other or anybody around you while you're sleeping. So in other words, while you're wearing your Apple Watch, whatever bedtime for your alarm to wake you up, the watch will itself will just give you heptic taps to try to wake you up without playing any sound. Oh, and other nifty features is the camera. You can actually launch the camera app on the watch itself and acts as a really good viewfinder. And a matter of fact, recently a lot of people have been attaching this on the backside of their phone so they can use the best camera on their smartphone and view it all right there while it's wrapped around the iPhone and you have access to toggle a bunch of stuff as well as change other of its camera settings. And works surprisingly extremely well with and in concerns of overall battery life. Honestly, it's able to get the same battery life even from the newer Apple Watch, like the Series 6, even the SE, and other newer ones like the 5 and the 4. So it does have the 18 hour all day battery that Apple has been recommending. In a way, the Series 3 is still is a very capable, very modern Apple Watch. The speed kind of sucks compared to the other newer Apple Watches available in the market. But in terms of modern features, just like the find phone feature function, if you hold this down, it will toggle the flash, the viewfinder as I recently covered, the ability to track your steps and all that stuff with built-in GPS is amazing. But the only concern, massive concern that I have about the Series 3 Apple Watch is it's very unlikely it's gonna begin to receive any more Further support by Apple definitely does look like it's on its last leg in terms of receiving future further Apple support in firmware updates and improvements. So watchOS 7 might be the last time this watch will receive a major firmware update. But if that doesn't bug you, this is a great buy. And besides, you still have access to a bunch of cool watch faces to begin with, as the Series 3 is already fairly loaded. But in my personal opinion, if you are planning on buying a Series 3 Apple Watch, I will highly recommend at least just taking a look at the Series SE. And the pros is you get not only get triple the storage capacity, as that Series 3 Apple Watch has 32 gigabytes, but you also get an S5 chipset inside which is much faster compared to the s3 you also get louder speakers as it's 50 percent louder the digital crown also gives you a heptic feedback which makes scrolling feel more luxurious and premium you get the gen 2 heart sensor which is just said to be more energy efficient and more accurate in reading but everything else it does the exact same thing and then of course it has the fall detection i was telling you about as well as the new body redesign which means more accessories are compatible for the SE than it is on the, because of Series 3, immediately it's on its last legs. It's about to be discontinued. Maybe next year, it feels like. It's very likely it's gonna get discontinued very soon. Oh, and I guess the SE has a built-in compass, but I never really use this. But if you need a compass, that's available on the SE. Oh, and in case you're curious, yes, even though this older body Apple Watch design, this band can still be used on even on the newer model Apple Watches. So there you go. That is the quick overview of this Series 3 Apple Watch of me highlighting its features, some pros and cons, and some things to consider 
if you really are truly considering getting the Series 3. Again, after go reversing back to the Series 3, it's not a bad watch. So if you find like a killer deal, it's not bad because compared to a Fitbit and such, you get a lot more value out of this device. And there we have it. I really hope this video helped you out, clarify a couple of things. Hopefully I was able to answer some of your questions. If I did, make sure to leave this video a like, but not only that, be sure to also subscribe. And if you're wanting to find out more about this SE Apple Watch, feel free to go ahead and watch this video over here. So I go through my five list of reasons why I can still consider the Series SE the best smartwatch available in the market. And then this video over there, that video is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.